With its unmatched vision of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope keeps offering scientists enthralling discoveries that keep the scientific community interested. And now Webb's extraordinary capacity has allowed to study the incredibly delicate impacts of crystals on starlight from a distance of more than 7 million billion miles away, revealing crucial information on the makeup of exoplanet atmospheres and fresh insights into their weather. While it might not be a scientific breakthrough, it is a step in the right direction, where science benefits and mankind benefits as well. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. One of the most common and familiar minerals on Earth has been detected in space by the James Webb Space Telescope. Found in beach sands, building stones, geodes and gem shops around the world, it is refined to make silicon microchips, melted to make glass, and used in watches to maintain time. Which material is this, and what makes this discovery so special? Quartz crystals have appeared literally out of thin air. A cloud of gleaming granules so tiny that 10,000 of them could fit side by side across a human hair. Thousands of miles per hour, Swarms of pointed, crystalline nanoparticles race across the hot atmosphere of a puffy gas giant exoplanet. In the high-altitude clouds on WASP-17b, a hot Jupiter exoplanet, located 1,300 light-years from Earth, scientists have found evidence for quartz nanocrystals. It is the first time that silica particles have been discovered in an exoplanet atmosphere which was uniquely possible with Webb's mid-infrared instrument. Silicates make up the majority of Earth and the Moon, as well as other rocky objects in our solar system, and are exceedingly prevalent across the cosmos. However, the silicate grains previously found in the atmospheres of exoplanets and brown dwarfs appear to be composed of magnesium-rich silicates, such as olivine and pyroxene, rather than quartz alone, which is pure silicon dioxide. The result from this team puts a new spin on our understanding of how exoplanet clouds form and evolve. Webb observed the WASP-17 system for nearly 10 hours, collecting more than 1,275 brightness measurements of 5 to 12 micron mid-infrared light as the planet crossed its star. WASP-17b is one of the biggest and puffiest known exoplanets, with a volume more than seven times that of Jupiter, and a mass less than one-half that of Jupiter. This, along with the planet's short orbital period of 3.7 Earth days, makes it perfect for transmission spectroscopy, a technique for detecting the filtering and scattering effects of a planet's atmosphere on starlight. The researchers calculated the amount of each wavelength blocked by the planet's atmosphere by subtracting the brightness of particular wavelengths of light that entered the telescope when the planet was in front of the star from the brightness of the star on its own. What was discovered was an unanticipated bump at 8.6 microns, a characteristic that would not be anticipated if the clouds were composed of magnesium silicates or other potential high-temperature aerosols like aluminium oxide, but which makes perfect sense if they are composed of quartz. Exactly how much quartz there is, and how pervasive the clouds are, is hard to determine. Given that the planet is tidally locked, with a very hot day side and a colder night side, it seems conceivable that clouds circulate around the planet but vaporize when they reach the harder day side. With the possibility of winds moving these tiny glassy particles around at thousands of miles per hour. WASP-17b is one of three planets that the Deep Reconnaissance of Exoplanet Atmospheres or DREAMS, using multi-instrument spectroscopy investigations of the JWST telescope scientist team are focusing on. These investigations aim to gather a thorough set of observations of one representative from each key class of exoplanets. A hot Jupiter, a warm Neptune, and a temperate rocky planet. 
What kind of discoveries will these observations lead to? We will have the answers soon. Like I said in the beginning, it is a step in the right direction, where science benefits and mankind benefits as well. If you found this content to your liking, make sure to hit that like button and share this video. And also, subscribe to the Channel Lab 360, because together, we will explore